Welcome back to St Dunstan's College and to this incredibly exciting next chapter in the journey of our school. I'm sure this wonderful Great Hall evokes really powerful memories for you from your time here at St Dunstan's. And when I'm speaking with the pupils today, I cannot help but think of the 130 year history of this place and of the thousands of boys and girls who've benefited from an education right here in the heart of this school. And there have been some extraordinary times marked in this hall. From the excitement of that first address to 91 boys in 1888, to the unfathomable challenge of 1918, finding the words to address a school role now two thirds the size it should have been. And then only a few months ago, when I had to address the college and inform them that their school had to be shut down in the face of a global pandemic. Key moments in the ongoing journey of this great school. And St Dunstan's indeed is a school that has been on a long and eventful journey. One that began 600 years ago in the City of London and was then reimagined here in Catford in 1888. Its foundation here was significant, arguably being the first school in the world to have technology and science built into the curriculum. The whole principle behind our foundation being that our educational thinking should be ahead of its current time. And I know that many of you benefited from that forward thinking approach to education through the teachers who guided you and through the educational choices that were taken in this building. And our recent journey is no less forward thinking. We strive to do things differently. This area of London has changed and continues to change beyond all recognition. We are fortunate to now be located in such a dynamic and diverse environment, a diversity that is intrinsic to the school's current personality. And this diversity presents real opportunity. We have a school culture that champions individuality, a culture that is underpinned by open-minded liberal values an unashamedly broad education where young people can find their own way and be true to themselves. An education that doesn't seek to create carbon copy graduates, but one that cherishes the diversity of its alumni. A school that is proud of its heritage, but not constrained by it. A down-to-earth but ambitious and forward-thinking school. And this culture is supported through the ambitious choices that we've taken in the development of our education be that through the additional curriculum which we now teach to our young people in support of key life skills and critical thinking, the co-curriculum that's built into the school day, the additional 30 acres of playing fields just five minutes from the main school site and enabling us to have a real opportunity for community engagement and the delivery of sporting excellence, our two week long summer festival that really embellishes the best of our college values and ethos, or this wellness centre built just a couple of years ago as a hub to support student mental and physical health. We are confident in offering the type of independent education families want for their children. Demand in places for the college has increased by 150% in the last five years. What's more, the market here in Lewisham is increasing at a breakneck speed, forecast to increase at between two and 3% a year, every year for the next 10 years. We believe in our future and we want to capitalise on its success. Working with HSBC, we have secured the money to begin the most radical development of our Stansted Road site since the college's foundation in 1888. Construction is currently underway for a state-of-the-art science, technology, engineering and maths block, along with a new junior school and sixth form hub. This will all be open in April 2021 we have achieved this through use of our reserves and borrowing. But we do not have more funds to give, and yet we need to do more. We need to demolish these old buildings that will otherwise remain in the centre of our school. Our plan is to landscape a beautiful, open, recreational space, already named by the children as The Plaza. We need to rehome music and drama, and our plan for this is to convert the current design technology workshops into a state-of-the-art performing arts centre. These two additional projects require us to raise a further £2 million, an ambitious sum for an ambitious school. And I'm asking whether you can find any way of wanting to support us in realising this goal, a goal we have for your school and for you to become a part 
of this exciting future that St Dunstan's has ahead of it. Alban Exorna.